Hello, Rec187, and welcome back to Strategic Command World War One. <laughs> and you're gonna, you, you're gonna notice every time I start recording, this research uh, screen pops open, and that's because my recording hotkey for uh, slobs is Control and R, which an R also brings up research. But anyway, yes, here we are, Central Powers for playthrough. It is late 1915, so the war has been raging for what a year, a year and a half ish, um, and we as the Central Powers are in reasonable shape. So when we now have Germany, uh, Austro-Hungary. Bulgaria and the Ottomans are all part of the Central Powers. Meanwhile, we face off against the UK, France, Italy has joined, uh, as Russia, Serbia, Albania, and Montenegro um, uh, are fighting against us. Uh, we have essentially stabilised the Western Front. No real uh, changes there. We haven't got as far as knocking Belgium out. They still hold Ypres. Let me zoom in one more tick so you guys can see what's going on. Um, which we are gearing up in a t to attack on. We're just waiting on some more shells, which we should be able to do. Next turn, we should have enough. Um, the old escape trick. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, um, we've kind of held in East Prussia and we've started a push into Poland and indeed we have just taken Warsaw this turn um, using the might of our upgrade artillery. So we're expecting a good fall in Russian morale as we head into next turn. Uh, and now we want to push in on Vangorod and then on to Brett Litovsk. Meanwhile, Galicia, uh, we're just kind of holding it it would be quite nice to take the oil fields back. Um, so I don't think we have them. Yeah, they're there. So that would be nice to get back. Uh, meanwhile, in Serbia, like I said we have just taken Nish, um, the capital, this turn. I think we're also going to need to take uh, Uskub before they will capitulate, and then I'd quite like to push on and just knock out Montenegro and Albania. And then we'll have to decide what to do with these forces. Some of them are undoubtedly going to go and bolster the Italian front, um, but we might actually look to turn around and use our experience uh, and to press in on Romania. A couple of reasons. One, if we can knock out Romania, that's some additional uh, industry that goes towards Austria Hungary. Also, they don't lose morale from grain imports, which Romania can hold against them if they swing too far to the Entente. Also, and this is a bit of a kind of game mechanic side of things, Romania falls under Russia for replacements and upgrades and all that stuff. So that's more places Russia has to spend the money. I mean, yes, they'll generate some as well, but might be a good way of doing it. Uh, meanwhile, Cox's we have stabilised, essentially. Uh, and we'll just look to continue that, maybe kind of pick off some cores if we can't, if we can. Um, things are going absolutely nowhere fast down here. And I don't think this is really going to change until we uh, do anything with Russia. And same in Egypt, we've got a bit of a stalemate going on. I think we need some artillery down here to break that. Uh, so that's roughly where we are. Um, our navies have been pretty battered wherever we've gone with them, so our only real threat remains the U-boats, which we've got uh, bombing around. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about these guys. I oh, can't do anything with them yet. Okay. That's interesting. Let's see what we can get done with our revolt. I don't know if they're going to be too long for the world, but it gives us something else to play with. Um, yeah, our only real naval threat is going to be the U-boats. So a couple of things we want to think about this episode um, as well is also Swiss Switzerland. Um, it might be quite nice to try and get them to come in the war on our side not just kind of just after we knock out Russia because that's our plan because that's going to open a nice big front with the allies where we're going to be able to use our additional manpower we get so that's maybe a long term goal um, right anyway but we're, what we do is we hit the intern button we're going to watch the AI turn and then we're going to be in a position to kick things off yes so I'll, I'll be interested to see how badly this affects the morale. I'd say I don't think Serbia will fall just from that, but that was going to be a nice blow to them. Yeah, there we go. USA is unhappy. We'll have to see how... Um, how close to coming in on the uh, Entente side the USA is. Yeah, go on Welsh. You strike those conditions. They are raiding Scandinavia, which sucks, and they are blockading me, which is nothing to do about the Canard de Chine. A, a newspaper, cool. 
with Nicholas II has become commander in chief of Russia's armed forces. I can't see this going badly for them. Uh, socialists, fine. Airship level one. Okay. Oh, good through breakthroughs. Artillery for Altmans, that's nice. Not that they have any yet. Uh, production for Altmans, that's really good though. It's a good little boost there. Wow, they're doing pretty, uh, pretty serious raiding there. And now we'll see what the uh, pesky eye gets up to. I'm probably expecting a push in the western front. Probably not much in the east, to be honest. I don't think they've really got a concentration of strength. We've done well in identifying and attacking um, artillery where we've seen it. That's going to be hurting my morale, but nothing more. Eventually, we're going to see their own... Interesting choice. Uh, artillery come into play. Oh, please leave that there. Oh, interesting. Pulling back. Unless they're just bringing in more cores. But... Oh, no, he's just run away. Okay. Only reinforced to four. I'm pretty confident we can kill him next turn. Excellent. That'll alleviate some of the pressure we've had in the coxes there. We can take out three of those cores, and we might be able to uh, tweak ourselves into an attacking position. That could be a big asshole, supplying this area. Oh, that's garbage. A very quiet item, which is good, because a quiet turn should give us the prep we need to take out Ypres and knock out Belgium once and for all. They may or may not stay knocked out, depending on the counterattacks. That would be a nice little victory. Some recon bombers from the Russians. Or interceptors, that's fine. So they might be trying to push that point. That's annoying, but okay. Okay. Just some tentative attacks there. Actually, I'm surprised this one didn't go better in our favour, considering we've got the fort. Oh, looks like they might kill that detachment. Oh no, they put, actually it's really good for us that detachment retreating. Means he is not dead and <clears throat> we can bring... Um, oh, they landed. Interesting. Presumably, they have no supply. Oh, okay. Something to contend with. And a Russian marauding forward needs to get themselves killed. Oh, they've got infantry weapons one now in, uh, for Russia, which means they're going to punch a little bit harder. That naval invasion is a really interesting choice from the eye, actually. To see. Presumably he's going to try and push him in a nearby town. Oh, that guy's so dead. Um, to get supply. Otherwise he's not going to be able to do anything. Venizelist forces seize power in uh, Salonika, Greece. I don't know which which way leading, leading they are. Uh, this could be bad. That's good though. Problem for the French. Okay, and that's just a summary of everything that's happened. Oh, we've got new artillery. That's cool. Well, I'll think we're going to deploy them shortly. Greece. Oh, wait, diplomacy. Uh, okay, so they're going to join the allies. Poop. Fair enough. 
Uh, so we're going to have to come and defend down in this direction. Which is frustrating because it might, might hinder our plans to knock out Serbia very quickly. But Greece isn't going to have a massive army. Uh, so we shall see. So you are available. Let's head you over in this direction. Hey, buddy. I uh, don't really want to leave you empty, or you empty, but we're going to have to bring some people over here. How far can you get? But forced march. Very far, okay. And force march you over in this direction. Uh, and have you come up here and entrench. Leaving Smyrna open for a turn. Which isn't great. Um, but hopefully. Hopefully we're not about to drop another troop there. And so we can then push in and garrison it again. These guys should just wither away and die. Oh no, there's a town here. Shanak. We will get a tiny amount of supply, I think. Um, no, that's not true. We need to take Smyrna to get supply. Yeah, these guys are just dead. Right, not a problem. Meanwhile, I want to surround us cub before the Greeks get here. We could take out this detachment on the way. We could ignore it and just go straight for the capital next turn. Which is what I'm kind of tempted to do. You're going to have to come down here. We can get one, two, three, four units around this. It's a plan of taking it next turn. I like that. Uh, can you get close enough? Oh, no, you cannot. I... What if I operate you? I don't want to say yes, just in case I can't put you anywhere useful. Obviously don't want to set it in this tile beside um, Christina, where it could attack. It's also likely to get itself mushed. One, two, one, two, one, two. Unless we try and kill this off, it's going to weaken ourselves a little bit, but I think with plenty of, inf of shells, we might have enough. Okay, let's start with this guy. We didn't get we didn't get the numbers there, unfortunately. Oh, this is, these attacks are not worth it. These attacks are not worth it. Oh, he's not in prison. He's outside the town. Okay, never mind. We are not going to attack Uskub next turn. We will wait a turn. We will be patient gonna let the Greeks come in which is slightly annoying but that's okay move this detachment down yeah that's probably a reasonable place for it to go and then we can bring our HQ down here you're still in Belgrade that's good Fine, 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 fine and dandy. Well, we've got some troops here ready to at least hold the Greeks. So it's going to be, yeah, turn after next by the time we can um, concentrate force on us, Cub. But we'll be able to take it with four core and some artillery. So that's okay. Um, that's fine. Do you know what, I've, I've, I've come out of sync of my plan as well. I normally do west, west, east. Right, do we want more artillery on this front? First, I want to upgrade you for a start. Um, maybe not right now. Maybe we do want to concentrate another artillery piece over here. To start uh, really pushing against the Russians. That might be the way to do it. and get them knocked out sooner rather than later. I like that idea. Right, but first we're going to start west in front. 
Sorry, I was zipping around all the place. Core. Core. Artillery. Six shells. Let's go for Ypres. Entrenchments down to four. Oh, and some strength damage. That's lovely. Sixty-four percent. A redness. All right, so we're on. Where are we? Sixty-one percent redness. Fifty-seven percent morale. We should be doing huge damage to them now. Let's start with this. Four for four for three is not actually fantastic, but it'll do. And there we go. Oh, five strength damage. That's insane. Ah, uh, oh, I hate those surprise attacks so much. And I didn't need to do it. I could. Re I should have just recon with this guy, and it would have avoided that. Because now he's going to get killed, and they're going to take. We're going to take Ypres back. Oh, that's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. Okay. Right, in terms of new units, well, I'm going to drop this core. I don't want to put them on the Italian front, to be honest. Three down here. But I'm not. I'm going to put them west. We are going to put artillery in the east. Where it can support our offensive here. Good. I'm really annoyed about that. I don't think we're going to get... 3-3 uh, three, three is pretty good against an experience unit. Wow, 3-4. Oh, they're not dug in. Okay. So we took 4 for 3 there. That's okay. 5. Let's take a 5 for 3. Let's... Yeah, let's do this. Got him. Nice. That was, it, cause that was an experience core we just took out there. Uh, so that is... Pretty nice to see. Let's go upgrade... Upgrade, let's reinforce those who we can. Sure, I'll put, top you up. Yeah, these are all terrible. Uh, we should probably get this horse out of the front line, to be perfectly honest. Which is we have... Oh, no, one reserve there. One reserve here. Nah, okay, we'll leave them there for now. Um, And then next time we should be in a position to maybe push in on... Um, Epinal. Blow, take a deal of blows for the French morale. Okay. In the east, now we can get to have a little bit of fun. Where do we want to push first? Probably, I mean, to be honest, I want to push both these tiles. But let's see, if we're going to go for one, it's probably going to be this guy. We can get more attacks in on him. So let's use our shells on him. Road his entrenchment down to nothing. Four to one, nicely done. Oh, three to one, but I'll take it still. Only two to one, Austrians, you are terrible. Well, you got the three. And yes, I will use the other Austrian division. Bye bye. Now, things I want to do. There we go, get sight of what's there before we move in. Though. Do we want to move in there, actually? Can't reinforce those guys. I'm surprised that even with Warsaw taken, we don't have the supply yet. No, that's fair. We need to get this tile, actually, for the railroad to be opened. Should be able to do that a couple of turns before we get artillery in place for that. Yeah, I could move a unit in here. He's going to get pretty... Uh, pretty resoundly hammered from all sides. Do you know what? I'm not going to put anyone in there. I'm going to wait, let them, if they want to bring someone else forward, then fine, and I'll just buy them as well. Could get some even attacks here, potentially knock out this core as well. Should be nice just to open up this supply route. We have four, four of them. Yeah, it's a little risky. Need to be doing essentially a two and a half damage on average. Just possible, but not guaranteed. 
Alright, so we might hold that. Yeah, these guys are kind of scouting about at the minute. Step back. You guys can build some trenches. You guys should probably build some trenches as well. Right, and let's uh, cut this guy off. You're gonna no, you're in New Hansburg. You don't want to move. I'll happily move you to here though, and you can't quite move around. Let's go. We'll pull you back. You there's a bit of a blockage. That's fine. I don't even need to attack him. He will um, attrition down well. And then we can finish him off as we need to. Two, 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 two. Nah, it's not really attractive. We'll just get these guys on the line. We'll concentrate our pushes into Poland. Okay, speaking of pushes, I'd like to move forward and see what's what. Potentially. These Russians aren't being very clever about it. We might be able to get in behind these guys. Cut them off a little bit. Uh, as far as your recon, not far enough. Can you move up, please? First fighters can come into here. To Stanislav. Uh, I'm tempted to step forward, but I don't want to in case there's people there. So let's just dig, dig some trenches. I don't want another surprise attack. Those things are horrific. Certainly by no means a solid line we've got, but it's a line. Okay. One core dead, one core trapped. Kind of okay with all this. How much does it upgrade you? Eh, yeah, sure I'll do it. Well, I'm particularly using you, but so be it. Serbia we have done with. There's no, I don't feel, I shouldn't need to kill these guys. Should be able to, wonder if I can knock this guy out, and these, they should all just surrender, I believe. Greece is going to come in, I think we've got enough to hold them in place. This looks okay. Caucuses. We're just going to kill you. Great. Oh, we still took the one back. Pretty satisfying there. Go to yeah, nothing really um, advantageous. We'll just sit where we are. Uh, you actually are going to need to go. Not this way. This way. Just to get an additional garrison over here, just in case there's any more uh, naval landing shenanigans. Uh, Egypt, I'm just giving this guy um, experience by attacking him. I don't know why we can't hurt him, I didn't look at I meant to look into that and did not, so we'll just stay where we are. Egypt again. Until we get lucky four, we're not going to kill this guy. We got three nothing though, which is nice, and we're getting so we got some experience there. Yeah, now we're down to two. Not worth it. I'll do that. I'll do that. Free, free hit, if nothing else. Okay. Ah, oh, should have moved one tile at time. Take a turn there. Brits will probably push back against that uh, cavalry unit, but I know we can cause some trouble at least. But they've stopped using that uh, convoy, so let's go raid this one. Anything else doing? Not really. You were probably going to support over here, but instead you're going to come back this way. Good. Uh, we'll pop you up to full 10, that's fine. Other heals we can give to guys over here. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Keep top you up. Very expensive. I think we checked. Ah, get him up to experience, which is good. They hit a lot harder. It's quite expensive, that. It costs you twice as much to go 
uh, for a strength point to go up to 11, but they do hit very hard. Ah, yes, Italian fun. I think I'll leave you at the back for now. Help everyone else up. That is fine. Uh, German U boats should all be in position. You are on silent mode. Hunt, can you sneak into here? No, not by a long shot. Hmm, free health. That does not bode well for you. You're hunting there, that's fine. You guys are both healthy. I was probably trying to bring him back to, uh, back to base. You are on silent mode, this is fine. And you can... Um, how you way through, I'll bring you back to base and see if I can't get you up. We did. It doesn't look like we're giving Russia anything right now. Interesting. Okay. Everything else is doing all right. I think we're on to point spending. Uh, purchase. Anything worth purchasing? You get a core for Germany. In fact, I'm going to do it. Uh, I want, might want to stick one more in the Italian front. Do you want a cavalry core? Might be useful for spotting your eastern front. But probably not. Austro Hungary. No. Could get a full price core, but that's very expensive. I probably want. Just want more artillery if you can. 300. Obviously, I can't right now. Uh, you. We are going to purchase some artillery. Even though it's all your points. It needs to be done. Diplomacy. Netherlands, I don't care about Norway. Uh, are happy just trading. USA is at 65. Okay. Switzerland. Tempted to start putting a few points here. I don't want them to come in early is the only thing. Uh, so maybe let's park that idea and have a quick good look at research. So you have, so you get 200, so we can top you off at your max. What kind of things you want? Visibility is nice. Uh, your artillery weapon, yeah, we won't do that. We've only got 75 space. Drop one into production tech, so you're about to finish that. Heavy bomber is not interested. Tank development. Yeah, we really want to do these in kind of um, same time in parallel. Let's do that. Okay, so now we're maxed twelve hundred. So until we start getting new things, um, we can't invest anymore, which is a great place to be, to be perfectly honest. Uh, you've still got a little bit of room. You still got two hundred points. By doing the next level of artillery weapons. Uh, let's do another one into trench warfare. So you've got two ticking along there. Gas shell and production is coming nicely. 150 points. Two in there. I could maybe do another one in production tech. Oh, we're so close to game to weapons. That's going to be huge, actually. It's also going to cost us a whole lot of points to upgrade everyone. And I think I want to start on this stuff. Uh, so let's start with one in each, and we'll probably double down on that next turn. And get two into each. You need... Uh, two levels of armored warfare before you get tank. Let's start uh, ticking because it takes a while. Yeah, Austria has got enough spare. Where we could say, you know what? Let's put just where are we? Switzerland. Just one tick, which we know doesn't really do anything. Uh, but I just want to start nudging them closer so we can uh, when we're more confident Russia is going to fall, we can invest alone. Although, that's Serbia. What's Russia down to? Let's look at the reports. Graphs. National morale. Russia. Wow, they took a big hit from Warsaw. That was huge. They're at less than 65. Five, less than 60%. Oh boy. And Serbia's in the toilet as well. This is good. This is really good, actually. Maybe, maybe we should be pushing them more. No, don't do it. Don't say and guess yourself. We're doing good, let's not uh, jeopardize things. Yeah, a couple of turns if we can take a Vanguard. Things will be okay. Alright. I think we've done everything. Let's hit the button, let's go. Bit of a long first turn there, to be fair. I'll try and get through them a bit quicker. First of all, it takes me a little bit of thinking. Hey! We got them! Oh, nice! 150 MPP. That's that's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. 
defend. I mean, you guys, uh, you joined the war, yeah. Backstabbers. I, I say backstabbers, they never were on my side, but... USA is probably not far off joining the war. Isn't great. You can take to blockade me and raid me and all sorts of horrible things. Infantry weapons won. Oh, that's good. It's going to be expensive, but it's good. Good timing for infantry tech level 2. 550, nice. Attack little green zero that's appeared next to all our units. That shows your infantry levels. And obviously we're not just zero at the minute, so we can upgrade to one. Can't upgrade in the front line though. So we'll have to like kind of rotate troops around. So it'll take a while to get to upgrade, but it spreads the cost out a little bit. Oh no, he didn't make it. Poor guy. There's no way this guy's surviving. Okay, just moved the unit forward, which I'm just going to kill again, I think. Healed that guy up to, oh, up to 8 this time, fair play. Oh, and looks like he's got, is that trench level 3, maybe? Hmm. Prove a tougher nut to crack. This is where the first Ottoman artillery is going. And we're just going to try and blast our way through into Egypt. Yeah, he's scheming. At least we'll be able to be buying back at half half price, but I'm just trying to make myself feel better about the whole thing. It's annoying is that with their extra spotting range, they can see obviously what's going here. They could land troops here actually, that's something I'm not considered. That would be a pretty big pain in the bum if they did that. Strategic bombing, how rude. Fighters fighting. Going for some artillery, it's still level zero artillery, so he's doing just morale damage. Which isn't nothing, but Oh. Oh. Well there you go, some attacks now. We I was really surprised by the first two attacks there. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. They haven't moved anyone in, but surely they will. <sighs> some nice attacks going our way there. He still hasn't built in trenches, that's a mistake. That's just what happens when you don't play for a week, you can figure out what's going on. It's not a problem, we'll entrench in there. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That's fine, we'll just kill that unit. We've got cannons there, we've got troops there. Belgium's already surrendered, so... All good. Well... It'll be okay. Russian HQ, fair enough. No one's moved into the death trap. Can't really blame him for that, to be fair. That's okay. Caucus is not a push objective, it's a hold objective. Take the kills where we can get them. And there we go, guys taking attrition already. Wow, another really quiet turn from Anton. Damn you, Salonica. We're liberated, and they will fall again. Uh, so Romania is leading towards Anton, which is fair enough. We expect that to happen. 
And the British woman Flora Sanders starts to create a Serbian army. Cool. Well, interesting. Wow, that was a really quiet time flying. Excellent. Okay, we lost the sub. Lost the core. Fine. We're going to smash Belgium's face in again. Two new subs. Nice. I'm quite excited about that. All right, we'll get these guys off and we go. And a lovely new core. Who is going... Probably Italian front. I don't really feel threatened here. I don't feel threatened here, to be fair. Now look at... Hang on. What's that? Production? What's that? It's, uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Production. So... Uh, oh, we could get a real gun. Nice. We get two more core us in October. Wait, what? This chart confuses me. These are all 16. That's all next year. We get one. Okay, that's one we've got now. And we'll get one next turn as well. I think. So I think... Um, I think maybe we do drop him east, east in front. And then we've got two artilleries with... I mean, he's got three cores and a couple of Austrians. This guy can pick up these kind of five cores. We've got two kind of fists we can punch with. Just to try and knock these guys out a little sooner. I don't know. Makes sense to me. I keep to, I'll keep. i regret it when the Italians push really hard and I'm, suddenly I'm crying. But that'll do us for now. You have six shells. Let's see if we can't take Epinal. Things we need to do first are scouts. Good. And we're going to head it. And we're going to head lots. Since you can use all our shells on it. Okay, so entrenchment zero. Brilliant. His readiness should also be terrible. We're still only getting three to do. That shows your power of fortresses, but we'll go for it. Pretty confident we can take it this turn. Was it so far three for threes? Feel slightly aggrieved about. Get these guys swap positions. And one or one for three. Come on. I swear I never get what I'm advertised. Okay. This will have been very expensive. Make no bones about that. He can't even move in. He can. Well, we definitely want him to. Um, am I bothered if you try and step forward there? No, not really. That's fine. Ah, so that was expensive. We got it. It'll hurt national morale, which is good. But I'm not happy about it. Right, I'm going to upgrade this guy because he's in the back lines. And I can. Um, do I want to push Ypres this turn? It's at half entrenchment. They'll grow at one per... But yeah, I do. I do want to wait. I want to not upgrade. I want to get these guys back up. Oh, and you can get experience. That's really that's really good, actually. Um, get front, get boost the guys in front line. And let's give you upgraders. Can I move up? Can I upgrade you and move? I can't remember. Uh, don't press escape one, Requin. You never learn. Right clicks cancel. Let's upgrade you. No, you can't. All right. We learned a thing. Have you won one, one dot, sir? I think so. You are in... Oh, you're Marie Combomber, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we took Epinal. The next objective will be to push on Belfort. And then there's... N oh, then it's kind of tours. And then there's a whole lot of nothing in terms of national morale objectives. But getting those will uh, nice and hurt the French. And lower national morale means you're... Your people fight worse, so it's definitely something you want to aim for. Uh, those subs have just been placed, so they have no movement. That's not a problem. Eastern Front. 
Nah, then. Now, you've only got two shells because we only get two a turn. His entrenchment is two. I think we're just going to hit him and take him out. Only a two to one. Maybe we're not going to take him out. Okay. That was a good first hit. Three to zero. Uh, one to one. Get a three to one here, which is nice. And I'm actually going to swap with you. I just realized his trench is on around, but never changed that. Take care of him again. Good. Uh, this should allow me to upgrade his weapons. And I'm also going to move you down, because your first job is going to be to attack this tile next turn. Excellent. Okay, another core dead. Uh, I'll take the chance to upgrade everyone I can who's not on the front lines, which is not many people, to be fair. Yeah, it's a problem when you've got a really thin line. Your ability to upgrade is a little limited. It'll help once this dude falls. Uh, I could get a 3 0. What point I'll just take, actually. You might finish him off, you might not. No. And you took a point of damage. Boohoo. That's pretty annoying, actually. But anyway, he will die next turn. Uh, we can these guys crush that guy next turn. Everyone else is happy. Good. Meanwhile. No one's home. Uh, what's my supply like? Probably getting massively ahead of myself here. Not terrible. Wow. I want to do this. Uh, and this is slightly squiffy because I need to do almost like that, to be honest. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do in terms of trying to come to these guys' rescue. So I'm pretty sure these boys are in trouble now. Just Chernovitz and Kulnea are not supply centers. These guys are now cut off. They take that World War II tactics. Ahead of my time. Um, we are, however, a little thin on the ground here. Uh, we're a little thin on the ground pretty much everywhere. So they could certainly come sweeping in here and cause us a few problems. You want anything interesting? Mountain. Mountain is good. I kind of want another body. To be honest, I don't have one. We are probably going to do a bit of shuffling. Let's bring you down there, bring you into there, bring you into there, and bring you into there. And probably pull you back and entrench you. Yes, that is better. Not perfect. They still try and push this gap. Maybe we'll just pull you back a little bit. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. How much is this? 25? Let's do it. Uh, yeah, it's worth healing you up. And then we'll, I'll just be interested to see what these guys take by way of attrition and when we decide to uh, apply the pressure. I should really relieve these two Austrians and get them back down with the rest of their army. No more heals over here. That's fine. Uh, this was this was all good, actually. Oh, ah, yeah, and we're going to need another core so we can actually upgrade these guys' weapons. Now, Greek. So it's going to be one more turn before we can attack with this guy. Uh, I'm tempted to finish him off, or try and finish him off with these cores up here. Just so he's not in our rear. Can I heal these guys? I can. I'm going to heal you and you. You I'm not going to heal, and we can dig some trenches facing south. Good. I'm gonna take it three to one. We got three to one. Got him. Good. Good. Huh. 
no one's home down here. Okay. So we are going to have to push in for uh, Montenegro and Albania. But this, I think we're in position. How many shells you got? Two shells? That's not... Actually, no, we should get another one next turn. We might be able to knock Serbia out once and for all, which I think I've been saying for uh, a significant length of time now. Let's make sure you guys are at 10. Move you in here. Uh, two, to, 2 to 2. Pretty tempted by that. Just to kind of keep the pressure on. Uh, yeah. 1 to 1. Also okay, can't entrench. You are facing multiple enemies, so let's let's just take trenches. So, all right. You're, these guys are still doing okay, so we'll keep where they are. They will just get worse and worse and worse. Let's head you up here and you over here. We have one more chap. Maybe I should be guarding Beirut. Technically, we could land there. None of these attacks are worth it. For 18 points, might as well top you off. And heal these guys, that's fine. Ah, yes, Caucasus. Yeah, nothing much doing that's pleasant. <laughs> okay. I think we might just hold, to be honest case of sitting staring at each other, but so be it. Okay. Right, Rebels. You, I want to pull back. Let them retake that, it's not a problem. I'm happy to kind of go marauding with this guy. It would be interesting to see if we could actually take Tobruk. Support, so presumably this guy gets supply. But we shall see. And we'll see what marauding we can do with these cavalry. I think it's going to just more of an annoyance for the AI than actually any real strategic gains, but I'll take what I can get. U boats. Wow, this guy survived. Um, I'm going to. I might try and run him through the channel. Morian. Silent, please. Yeah, I'm going to try and run him home. Probably heal him up and send him out again, to be honest. Okay. Potentially purchasing. Bulgaria, get anyone next to Get some Bulgarian artillery. That might be pretty, pretty darn useful. It would be quite the splurge, not going to lie. But artillery tends to win wars. Three. Oh, on it. These guys can get infantry weapons as well. Hmm. And that might help push out Greece and obviously deal with Romania when they come knocking. Else, I could buy that core back with infantry level, with weapons level 1. Alright, now I think we're going to get. It's expensive, but we're going to get some artillery and then next time we'll get that core. The uh, rest of the German points are going to go on research. We're going to drop another chit into that. And we'll save up the 75 for next level of tank development. Oh, we also want the oh, 125 for that as well. All the points, all the times, if you please. Also hungry. Uh, the only thing I'm really going to save up for is... Artillery, to be perfectly honest. I'd like another one of them to park uh, on the eastern front. Fine. Uh, but I don't need that right now. I don't have the money for it right now, so maybe we should try and save a little bit. You are still capped. Diplomacy. Oh, 72. They are so close. Let's... Romania is reasonably far away. Drop another shit in here. 10% is okay. Alright. How confident am I feel about knocking Russia out? Pretty confident. Let's go 15. And we'll save our points next turn for artillery. Uh, auto bros. Probably want a second artillery at some point. Kind of thing you want all over the place. 
Uh, things like fighters and whatnot is probably not terrible at some point as well. Uh, otherwise, how's your research? You are not capped. Loads of industrial tech. That's great. We've got artillery weapons coming along, which is great. Uh, let's put another one in gas shell production, I think. And we'll just save your 71. Next turn, the plan is to take out Uskub. And then once we've done that, we'll see about actually giving this guy a replenishment. Cool. Yep, pretty happy that's just done. All subs moved uh, that we need to. We've got two sitting on this Russian line that isn't doing anything. Do you know what? Let's have you swim it this way. We'll head you back to the Atlantic. We are pushing the US into the war with this, unfortunately, but needs must. We're still sitting at 91. 82 for Austria Hungary, 81 for Ottomans. We're pretty strong. Uh, UK is still absolutely fine. France is down to 88, which is good. We don't want to keep. It's going to take another hit from Epinal, which is not calculated yet. But overall, I think we're doing okay. Until we see the Entente tanks start rolling at us. We have a new boat, new boat section we built. It suggests we complete construction at Pola in the Adriatic. Sending women to us to finish it in this Austro Hungarian port will cost us 50. If you decide not to, you decide not to send to the Adriatic and deploy in the Baltic in December. Um. So you're going to cost me more money, and I'm going to get it later. No. This sounds bad. Maybe we'll push Sweden and Norway to join the war, actually. Friedrich Naumann's Middle Europa is a bestseller. Beautiful dream. And um, the 39 Steps is published. Ah, cool. Production technology level one, so that's, we can buy stuff for cheaper with that. Command and control for Austria-Hungary, this is good. Makes our uh, HQs better. We should probably maybe look to more development for that. Oh, infantry for Austria-Hungary as well. And spying intelligence, okay. On oh, production tech for Austria-Hungary. We are rocking and rolling with our research right now. And artillery for the Obros. Not that we've got any yet. We have bought some, it's on the way. It's on the way. Tally transcripts from Eritrea to Tobruk. Okay, so that's to deal with my uprising. Brits are coming. Those guys are reinforcing. Good. Go away. I'm not sure how much I can get done, to be honest. But we shall see. I just noticed you don't actually have any trenches there. I'll just change that. That looks like a terrible decision to have operated them into the front. No trenches. Pretty sure they're just going to die. Looks like, though, Austria has trench level 3 now. That's nothing our artillery can't deal with. Also, I don't know the trigger point for the Bolshevik uprising. I don't know how low we need to get the Ottoman, the uh, Russian morale. Okay, it's good about. Those guys are just, I don't know what they're doing, throwing sponges at each other or something. 
Oh, experienced fighters, that's cool. Oh, that's really annoying actually, but okay. Can't do much about that. Ah, oh, I suppose I could buy some fighters. Ow! That's a core we're going to lose there. Oh, no, we didn't. That's pretty huge. That hurts. Are we going to lose one there? Mm, maybe. So we're not going to take it. Oh, they got him, though. Didn't take the fort, though. Huge attack from turn from Entente, though. But that's some uh, pretty large strength damage they've taken. These are these are uh, costs of men that Russia cannot afford. Some ironic. Okay, we've lost them. A pretty spice town. So I think one core lost, one core almost lost, and you see him up there, but held on by the skin of his teeth. And I feel like we do want. And that's where we're going to bring this episode to a close. So the central powers are in a real, real time of strength at the minute. We've pushed into Belgium and knocked them out. Uh, you know, the Balkans are on the ropes, and I think it's just a case of time till we mop them up. And we're really starting to push Russia in the east. They're looking really fragile. And I think we can make some some significant inroads. Everywhere else, things are stable. Uh, no real concerns in Italy, um, in the Caucasus, in Egypt. It's not really going in our favour, but then it's not really going against us either. So I will take that. As I bet this was from a Twitch live stream. So if you're interested in coming out and seeing this happen live, then there's links in the description below. Otherwise, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please leave your thoughts below. And I'll catch you all in the next one.